Hi, this is Pastor Mark. I'm the pastoral intern here at Crossroads Church at our Invergrove Heights campus, and I'd like to welcome you to our daily devotional. Today, we're talking about small groups. And, you know, it's something that's really exciting for me because I really like small groups. Um, first of all, a little bit of an introvert, so small groups, great. I can deal with small groups of people. <laughs> I can deal with large groups too, but you know, as an introvert, I really prefer small groups. But um, also for me, I find small groups to be very important because um, it's a chance not only to connect with other Christians, but to just kind of struggle together, to live life together. And that's really what the church is for, right? The church is all about being able to live life together as Christians, trying to figure out God, what God wants from us, what God's will is for us, uh, us as individuals and us as a community of faith, of believers, and to be able to just come together and just work it out, hash it out, you know, whether it's through scripture or whether it's through reading other texts um, and just being able to struggle with the daily life, with the daily things that we experience, you know? It's very important, so important to just maturing in faith, to growing as believers, it's very important. Um, you know, Pastor Dan had a lot of uh, good points for today talking about uh, small groups and um, you know one of the one of the huge things though again is that authenticity part uh, that uh, of of being able to come in together as vulnerable people because um, one thing that I love to work on is just stuff that I don't know right I uh, I make small groups and to kind of just figure out stuff together. You know, I did a, a Bible study over Revelation and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Monday evenings, we went through each chapter of Revelation and just kind of struggled with it and worked on what exactly is this? What is this uh, book that uh, God has revealed to uh, John the writer? Of revelation and how what are we supposed to do with it and that was just so awesome and um you know i'm even thinking of starting up a new small group this summer which i'm really excited about and hopefully we'll have some news um later but for me it's just going in not knowing everything because come on who knows everything right if you come in knowing everything, it's not exciting, it's not fun, but being able to work it out together to say, you know, I don't know this, but I'm going to be vulnerable enough to share about how I don't know this. I can be vulnerable enough to uh, figure it out with you and be able to work on it together, to be able to connect together as friends, as believers, and just be able to say, you know, God's grace is enough. It's enough for us. Small groups is really fun. They're really fun. I really enjoy them and I always love to learn more. And even though I come in knowing something, I <laughs> find out I know nothing, but I always learn something new. And so, yeah, I just encourage you, if you are interested in connecting again, this is a great time, right? We've been, we've been disconnected a bit because of the virus, but things are starting to open back up this week, this Sunday, uh, not today, but next Sunday, we're going to be opening back up. We're going to have worship again in the sanctuary, and we're going to look at opening up small groups, seeing how we can connect and how we can grow. And this is a great time for growth. It really is a great opportunity for the Holy Spirit to really work and ground us as believers in, in the Bible, in our faith in Jesus Christ. And so, yeah, 
I just encourage you, if you're, if you're thinking, if you want to join a small group, please reach out to us. You can reach out to info at crossroadschurch.org, or you can even comment underneath. Just hit the comment button underneath and uh, let us know if you're interested. And what do you think? What's your experience with small groups? Have you had some bad ones? I've had some bad ones. Believe me, there are bad small groups and there are good small groups and there are meh small groups. But yeah, definitely leave a comment below. I want to know what what has been your experience with small groups. And are you excited about them? Are you curious about them? How's the Holy Spirit talking to you right now about being part of a community of believers? So definitely comment below and give us a big thumbs up, like the video, and uh, share with others so that we can all... Uh, kind of grow together that's that's one thing I like to share this so that it's not only crossroads people but it's also people within our community that can hear the wonderful good news of jesus christ so definitely share that with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the crossroads uh page and remember to follow so that you get notifications each time we have a daily devotional and anytime we have a service that's posted on Facebook or elsewhere. With that, why don't we close with a prayer. God, we thank you so much that even though we're not perfect, Lord, you give us the opportunity to learn. You give us the opportunity to always try again. And when things go wrong, Lord, your grace covers us. And so, Lord, I pray that you just remind us what are some ways in which we want to reconnect? What are some ways in which we feel connected and want to strengthen those uh, relationships? Lord, I pray that you just watch over us this week and be with us as we go through one more week of this aftermath of this crazy world that we live in, that, Lord, you truly love and you truly are with us. I pray this in your name. Amen. Blessings.